So story time. I posted a previous video about how you really need to be your own advocate in healthcare. And I can say that for a lot of different reasons. One of which is I've worked in healthcare my entire life, but also because I'm now a patient. And I'm gonna tell you an example of that. So as I've mentioned before, when I first started to feel weird and have a lot of my different symptoms, I went and I got a primary care physician. And since I didn't have one, the first thing that they do is basically what we call an annual, and it's just a full workup. There's a lot of criteria to it, but one component is they're always going to order a lot of your preventative um, type of medicine things. So your mammograms, your colonoscopies, things like that, no matter what you go in, you know, for they're, they're required to, you know, get the ball rolling on your preventative healthcare. So when I went in for that uh, first appointment with the problem in my hand, they ordered um, a mammogram and colonoscopy and stuff. And when I went to get that mammogram done, I got a report back. The doctor actually called me that there was some findings in it and that they wanted to have another one done. And then I had that one done and there was findings in that. And then they ordered an ultrasound and I had that done. So while I was having that go on, I was also getting, um, you know, the CT on my shoulder, going to PT. And so when I went to my um, follow-up, my tremor had gotten, you know, pretty much more severe. And I was there because I'm thinking, I'm gonna get the results of these tests regarding my tremor and figure out what's going on with me. The So when I went in to the follow-up, it was obvious that um, the doctor had not seen the report from the physical therapist, uh, was not there to talk about my CT scan. He was there to talk about the possibility that I might have breast cancer, <laughs> which wasn't on my radar at all. And I started crying and I, I was just like, you know, how many things can go wrong in my body at one time. <laughs> so long story short, I ended up um, having some things done regarding um, the breast issue. It, it ended up not being anything of concern, but it. I think then I still had to go back and ask for a re referral to a neurologist because th this is what I'm talking about when I say sometimes your priorities and your doctor's priorities don't align. You have to advocate for the things that are concerning to you in conjunction with the things that they're seeing that are of concern as well. So I just think that's kind of a funny story um, and I hope people can learn from my mistakes. Thanks. Hope this helps.